fellow YouTubers, how you doing? My name is Robert Gonzalez over here. I'm a filmmaker in New York City and I work for quite a number of production companies as well as for a couple of schools. And some of my students was asking me um, why didn't I make a YouTube video about some of the knowledge that I know to spread it around. And I thought, hey, why not? So today's first video is going to be five production tools that your production should probably have or your PAs should have so that your production can go smoothly. The first tool that we're going to go over with today is the trusty good old gaffer's tape. This guy is used for everything. Um, could hold cameras together, could hold lights together, could tape pieces of material together, could be used for um, to make modifiers. It could be. I mean, gaffer's tape. The really the the, uh, the utility of gaffer's tape is truly and utterly just amazing. Great stuff to have. I don't carry a giant roll like this around with me. I like to have things in a smaller carry-on size. So what I do is I actually take a, a card and I retape it and I make it into a lot smaller thing because this can actually fit right in my wallet on my back pocket and I'm good call it a day and then as I need it I can just you know go in here and pull it out as I need it take it rip it do whatever I need to do the second tool we're gonna have is an allen key set there are many of them I actually have three different kinds I have this guy right here where it has the bigger ones leading all the way down to the smaller ones and even to the micro gauges. Then I have the most basic Allen key set which would be like one of these guys. But what I also recommend people to do is probably getting one of these. I know in Home Depot they come, it comes in a set of three. This guy is a medium one, so it's, it's a lot older. Um, it has all the smaller keys that I need and the bigger ones. Uh, this guy has definitely seen a lot of work. Uh, Allen key set is amazing, you know, fixing tripods, fixing light stands, fixing um, anything you could think of, sliders, fixing, uh, let me see what else have I fixed. I fixed uh, the, the hot shoe mount, for, I mean, for a camera, you could, you could fix the uh, Allen key set. Um, the Allen key set is really quite um, essential in most production tools. So definitely have that around you. Another thing to definitely keep around would be a multi-tool. I have a variety of multi-tools. Um, the best one I really like is this tiny guy right here. It might be small, but it fits in my back pocket. I don't have to carry a lot of gear. It has a pair of, it has a pair of pliers in it, so I can squeeze things really tight or I need to. Um, I also have different tools on the side here. It has a has a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and as well as a flathead and a small knife which is really good. Um, don't get me wrong I would love to have a bigger Leatherman with me more professional but in New York City if a police officer does see you with a uh, Leatherman they will take it away from you. It's happened to me. I've lost mine. Uh, other tools that I also carry you know I carry this is another little multi tool. It has a whole bunch of different other tools on it. Three different tools, five sixteenths, eleven three sixteenths, and three eighths. And it has an opener, a ruler. Cool tool. One tool that I really kinda like and it's a, it's probably will definitely is definitely not usual is this Leatherman. It has an axe bit with a hammer. It also has a pair of pliers to it, as well as knives, screwdrivers, cork openers, whatever you need you to have. You're good to with this tool. That's tool three. The fourth tool that I would recommend PAs to have is a mini sewing kit. I'm fortunate that I found this small little thin one. But if not, what I suggest people do is maybe they make a at-home kit with them you know really all you need is like two buttons um, some black thread some white thread some red thread and then uh, maybe a pair of micro scissors like these guys right here 
good pair of scissors to have, good size, helps me cut, carry everything with me. Um, what I did is I took a bobbin and I rolled it up with a sewing machine and I just always keep a little spool of white thread. I have about 100 yards with me right here so I can do whatever I need to do. A uh, great tool to also carry around with you is bobby pins or these, uh, these little clips. Great things to carry, you know, clip uh, actors clothing or whatever have you. Um, good things. The last and final tool that I recommend everybody have in their pocket, and you probably already do have in your pocket, is spare change. Spare change, why? Perfect way of tightening your tripod, of tightening, tightening the plate for your tripod. What I have created here though, and I attach to every single one of my tripods, is a, um, is this cute little device. It has a carabiner with a hair scrunchie attached to a washer. The washer works just the same as a coin. I could spin, you know, I could open and close things. Uh, the great thing about this is I can actually just clip this right to my tripod and it's good as, it's good as gold. Um, good things to just have, you know, good little invention. Also, this serves as, 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 a, as another case if I need a scrunchie for maybe to say wrap a audio wire or I can, you know, use a scrunchie real quickly to wrap it real fast so that it's nice and neat. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed my uh, five tools that you would need as a PA that will help out in just about any production. So, uh, until next time, guys.